problem four here and to start let's rewrite the uh, integrand here uh, where we uh, rewrite this x cubed as x squared and then times x of course but group the x with this uh, e to the x squared because uh, by uh, doing that then we set ourselves up nicely to do integration by parts where we are going to let u be x squared and then dv be x e to the x squared from which we see that du is 2x dx and v is a half e to the x squared yeah okay now we know that uh, the integral of u dv by the integration by parts formula is equal to uv minus the integral of v du and that's what we have left to execute right so we see that this here, which is the same as our uh, integral, right? Like, and uh, something we can write in this form is equal to this here. And so u v to start and u is x squared and v is a half e to the x squared. So a half x squared e to the x squared is one way to write that, right? And then minus, and that's that there. And now integral of v du. So v is a half e to the x squared, and du is 2x. And so we see that uh, this 2 here in front of the x and this 1 half uh, can cancel. And so we could just write x each e to the x squared. But then, wait, we've done that antiderivative before, right? Like, because that was dv, right? And so we know that that's a half um, e to the x squared, this antiderivative here. But, of course we have to start with this right so we'll have this and then minus a half e to the x squared now uh, since we have a half e to the x squared both in this part and this part perhaps we can factor it out to write it a little nicer uh, it'll please your math teacher and so we do this and that's that um, keep watching take care